Good evening, and welcome to Science Corner with Mr. Wood and Mr. Bolio. This evening, we'll be exploring the shoebox catapult. This activity explores compound machines and identifies some of the simple machines that are incorporated into its working parts. We'll be using a... Well, for instance, we're going to use a lever that's going to rotate on its Velcro. We will be using an axle. And with that axle, we're going to use it to rotate a pulley, which will move a load. Ooh, how exciting, Mr. B! This activity also surveys how force, in this case an elastic band, acting as an energy force for the lever, can affect the movement of an object. In this case, our projectile. Mr. B, this will be so exciting! It is important to consider some safety rules and concerns with this project. There are many, so be careful. Be ready. Rule number one, always wear your safety glasses. Mr. B, safety glasses, please. Thank you, Mr. Wood. Better safe than sorry, as we always say. Rule number two, always only shoot the designated projectile, in this case, our marshmallow. Or, to comply with BC schools, healthy schools regulations, you may opt to shoot a strawberry. Yum yum. Mr. B? Thank you, Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood and I are very concerned about your safety, so we're going to go over some safety uh, concerns that we have. Your safety is very important to us. The first uh, safety concern we have, we're going to be using uh, wooden skewers today, and they're a little bit pointy, so we want to make sure that we don't hurt ourselves with those, these and others, so we just want to be careful of that and watch what we're doing with them. Same goes for the scissors. We all have used scissors before, we want to just be careful, again, pointy and sharp. Another safety concern we have are the elastic bands. We want to make sure that they're not shooting around. That's another rule that we have. No shooting around the, the elastic bands. We know accidents happen, but uh, we just want to be, be sure that, uh, that we have these under control and we're watching what we're doing with them. One more, Mr. B, is your teacher should have this designated uh, projectile shooting area, and that's the only place you're allowed to shoot your catapults. I think we've about covered it, haven't we, Mr. B? I concur, Mr. Wood. Thank you. Let's begin. Okay, I'm going to take you through a quick run of our materials list. First, we'll need one shoebox. Just an empty one, no lid. Um, we will need two bamboo skewers. One short one, one long one. We'll need a piece of string, about 10, 15 centimeters long. We'll need three craft sticks, one rubber band, one plastic spoon, and a roll of tape. Just any kind of masking tape will work. Okay, so now we are ready to build our shoebox catapult. Uh, so to begin, our first procedure is to make the arm of the catapult. And from now on, we'll be calling this the lever, which is the um, term for the simple machine that we're looking at. So we'll be using our three craft sticks to make the lever. First we'll start out with one, take the second and put it halfway on there, take the next one and meet the second one halfway, and your partner or one of your group members will help you secure it with tape. And it's very important that your lever is very strong and sturdy as it will take much of the load. So you can be putting a couple pieces of tape here, here, just to make sure it's nice and strong. Okay, now we're gonna work a little bit more on our lever. Uh, Mr. Wood and I got to, the, got to a point where we feel comfortable with the strength of our lever, so that's really important. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna work on our fulcrum point of our lever. So this is where our lever is gonna rotate. And the way we're gonna make it rotate is we're gonna put a little bit of a hinge on there. So we're gonna use um, our short bamboo stick and we're going to use this as our hinge pin. So what we need to do is secure this to one end of your of your lever. Mr. Wood's going to help me here. And we're going to tape that on. So just right at the end at a fulcrum point. Really simple like that. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to create the other part of the hinge with the box. So what we need to do is make a hole in our box right in the middle here, as you can see. This is going to be just big enough for our lever to fit through. Now, at this point, if you don't feel comfortable um, cutting this hole with, the, with your scissors, then your teacher will gladly come around and help you. Uh, so it's big enough for our, our lever to fit right through there. And you can see our, our axle pin here sits right on the outside. And that creates a hinge, another simple machine. Okay, so our next step is to create an axle, and to create the axle we're going to use the long bamboo stick. Take your box and at the opposite end of where our hinge is, we're going to lie the hinge down, or the lever down, find roughly where the tip of the arm is, and we are going to create two holes, about three centimeters from the bottom right here, and we're going to stick our axle through just like that. So a little bit sticking out of both sides. And that's our axle. Okay. okay, now we're gonna use our elastic band. This is where we're gonna um, gain some of our energy for the, um, for the catapult. So we're gonna use this to create force. So we're gonna wrap this around your box. Basically you want it right around where your axle is on your box. So that your lever is resting on it. The spring motion here is going to create, it's going to load, have stored energy, and then release. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to tie our string from to our lever to our axle, and it's going to create a little bit of a pulley. So what I like to do is just make a little loop like this, and then we're going to tie like a nice little simple knot, that loop, pull it through. Make it nice and tight, and you got a loop. This loop will slide on one end of the lever here, and then what we'll do is we'll take a piece of tape, and we'll tape the other end to our axle. All right. Now what that'll do is we can twist our axle and create a load on our lever so that we can move our object. All right, so our final step is to add our plastic spoon, which will hold the projectile. All you need to do is tape the end onto the edge of the um, our lever. Put your projectile, only approved projectiles, in the, the holder of the plastic spoon. Wind up our axle. And let it fly. Okay, so to wrap up our shoebox catapult experiment, we are going to leave you with some things to discover. The first could be to add an, an extra elastic band, see how that changes how the projectile flies. Um, another thing we can do is try and move our elastic band up closer to the fulcrum point of our lever and just see what that does to our force and direction. Another thing we could do is try, instead of leaving the string um, free on the edge of our lever, try taping it to make sure it doesn't fall off when we uh, wind up the axle. And another thing we might want to try, if you have time, is even lengthening your lever, if you have, if that's possible. Maybe yep. come farther, maybe even shortening it. Yep. These are all things that are going to affect your force and your direction of the force. And we're sure you can also think of more things that you may want to discover and uh, modify with your catapult and see how that'll change how it um, how it shoots. All right. Have fun. That's it. All right, I'm winding up our axle, our lever is pivoting at the hinge, and the elastic band is creating energy for the projectile to shoot. We hope you had a great day learning about the shoebox catapult with us. We had a fun time. Yeah, I know I did. Hope everyone learned something about simple machines and how they make tasks like moving objects from one place to another a lot easier for us. We were safe, had our safety goggles on. You should be safe too. Enjoy your evening or day, whatever time it might be. Bye! Bye!